Welcome back to Hogsmeade here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Good Come morning, on, everyone. Guys. It's Crystal. And Chris, back with another video. Uh, we have been wanting breakfast for a while, and I did promise Crystal I was going to take her out to breakfast yes, one of these yes. days, right? <laughs> so where are we at? We're at Universal Studios Hollywood. Yes, we're here at Hogsmeade at the Three Broomsticks because we just heard that they started serving breakfast. Yes. And it looks delicious. Oh my god. Yeah, so we come we had to come check it out. What better place than have breakfast at our favorite place? I'm excited. Yeah, so we're gonna show you what's on the menu, show you what it's all about, and hopefully it's good. I'm hungry. Let's, Let's get go, to you it. Guys. So again, you'll find uh, the three broomsticks right behind Honey Dukes and the Butterbeer Carts. It's gonna be right over here. Here's a closer look at their menu for breakfast. They got the traditional English breakfast, American breakfast, continental breakfast, and the pancake breakfast. So out of all of those, which one sounds the best to you? All of them. What? <laughs> <laughs> one of each, please. I know, one of each. I'll take one of each. Yeah. No, I think I'm feeling... I know you're gonna get the traditional. Yeah, the has, traditional like, looks variety. huge. Yeah, yeah, that has a little bit of everything, so I think I want that one. So I think I'm gonna get the pancakes. So the we pancake can try breakfast. those. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Can't go wrong with pancakes. You can't go wrong with breakfast at all. Yes. Yeah. They have I'm a little so bit of everything. Excited. Welcome back to the three broomsticks. Alright guys, so if you guys do come to the park early, and we actually noticed this last time, the park opens at 9 a.m. Um, but a lot of the food places don't open until either 10, 11, or 12. So we got pretty excited when they said that uh, the three broomsticks is going to be serving breakfast. And I was like, what time are they going to open? They, gonna, they open right at 9. As soon as the park opens up, you can head over here if you haven't had breakfast and grab a bite here because everything else probably won't open until 11 or 12 for now. For Chris? Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Alright you guys, so I ended up getting the pancake breakfast which comes with three fluffy pancakes. They look pretty fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> they look pretty fluffy. And then uh, crispy bacon and sausage link. Mm, delicious. How about you babe? I have to read it off the menu because this one actually comes with a lot. <laughs> I know. This has a lot of stuff. But the traditional English breakfast, it has fresh scrambled eggs, sausage link, bacon, ham, baked beans, baked potatoes, sauteed mushrooms and potatoes, served with a butter croissant and black pudding. I don't know what that is, but it looks <laughs> delicious. Um, if you're English, this is like an everyday breakfast for you. But for me, I'm like, whoa, there's a lot of food. Breakfast of champions right there. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna be digging into yours. It looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. I, mine has eggs and yours doesn't. Though, so you know you really wanted eggs, right? Yeah, yeah. I did. I'll probably but take one or two bites of your pancake yeah. too. Just that. We're gonna be sharing. Yeah. So really quickly, we do want to mention the pancake breakfast and the uh, traditional English breakfast. They were both $16.99. Yeah, I would think that yours would be more expensive. Yeah. Because yours it looks like, it looks like it has a lot more yeah. food. Yeah. Um, but they do come with your choice of um, either orange juice, apple juice, or, or coffee. Coffee, right? yeah. yeah. So because we have an annual pass, we actually saved $5.10. So our total came out to $31.62. Yeah, this is actually a lot of food. Yeah, which is a little bit pricey, but I mean, th these portions are pretty big. Yeah, and so. I mean, come on, it's theme park prices, right? Yeah. So what do you expect? And then also you get to have breakfast here at Three Brooms. You're paying for some yeah. magic also. You, you are. <laughs> Cheers to breakfast. Cheers! Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's fresh. That tastes fresh. really good. I think, it, I think it is fresh, right? Because yeah, you can see the pulp. pulp. Mm, so good. So good. Let's dig in now. I'm excited. We'll see you guys after breakfast. Bye.
if you don't find a table inside the three broomsticks, don't forget that they have plenty of additional seating right outside to catch some fresh air. So another cool thing about Universal is that they do have these sanitizing wipe sections um, right by the seating area, which I think is so cool because just in case if um, the workers aren't on top of you know cleaning the tables, you can always just come here and sanitize the table yourself. So Universal Studios Hollywood, we have our own Green Gringotts Bank too, but it's an ATM machine. It's not the ride, like at Orlando. So there's a few reasons why I love the three broomsticks. Right, we've had their lunch before. This is where you can get the fish and chips, yes. shepherd's pie that, from, that we had at, from Taste of Universal. They have great a, food. Yeah, they just have a bunch of great food here. And now breakfast, right? Oh my god, yeah. I know, it's so crazy. It's like, it keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. Uh, but no, literally the inside is themed just like it is in a movie. If you guys have seen Harry Potter or, or any of those films, there's a few scenes where they go to three broomsticks. And it looks just like that. And it's funny. You kind of get immersed into like that whole world. Yeah, exactly. And it's like they have like little areas upstairs. And I wish you could go up there, but nope. It I says know. it says hotel guests only. Our first time, I was like, wait, can you go up there? <laughs> it would be it so, cool. so cool. Yeah, yeah, but no. There's a funny scene I think in the Half Blood Prince where Harry, um, Ron, and Hermione they go in there and they like just order butterbeer, <laughs> and they just, they're just like drinking butterbeer. <laughs> Uh, but they do sell butterbeer here as well guys. If you guys do come to Hogsmeade, you know you can get your butterbeer at the butterbeer cart. Yeah. And there's usually a long line for that. There's always a long line, but if there's a shorter line at the three broomsticks, they have butterbeer in there as well. They also, That's a good point because I think people automatically just They just the assume cart, that you can just get it there. So I don't think they like know that they can also get it inside, yeah. but you can you guys. So if you don't want to wait in line there, just go inside there and see if they have a shorter line. Um, and they also have a bar inside the three broomsticks. The bars are not open because indoor bars are technically not allowed to be open just yet. Uh, but just know that they do have a bar here uh, with a really cool menu. Right? So we'll, sh we'll show that to you once they do open up as well. I'm so full. Oh I feel as fluffy <laughs> as my pancakes now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you guys, breakfast was so good. It was so delicious. Yeah, what'd you think? It was better than I expected, to be honest. Mm, I just agree. because I know it's a new thing. Yeah. And just how fast we got our food, too. Yeah. I was kind of like, oh, like, is it going to be really good? But no, the flavors were really it there. It came out really warm. Everything was so. By the time we had it, I mean, it was a little cold, you know, because we had yeah. to have, take our pictures and all that good yeah. stuff. <laughs> but it was still so good, you guys. For $17 per plate, they actually have a lot of food. Yeah. The, the traditional English breakfast, we can totally share that. Yeah, I kind of feel bad because we had a lot of leftovers. Yeah. And we're still going to be here at the park for a long time. So, so we didn't want to get too full. We couldn't get it to go as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But no, you guys, yeah, you, you can't go, I don't think you can go wrong with any of those. I think the continental breakfast is probably a little smaller mm -hmm. uh, because it's mostly like pastries and fruit. Yeah. Um, so I, I think I saw a picture that it had a lot of fruit, more fruit in it, right? But if you want like a real breakfast, the fluffy pancakes, yeah. the American or the traditional English. Yeah, the portions are really big. So um, if you're a person that doesn't really eat a lot, um, if you're a couple, I think you can share one. You can totally share one. Yeah. And I did hear someone say, they asked the cashier, can you just get the pancakes? And no, it's the plate. So yeah, it's going to come with plate. the bacon and sausage and it's going to come with the drink as well. Yeah, you know us muggles, we love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a lot of food. Yeah, and then another thing too, since the portions are pretty big, um, do keep that in mind because if you're like planning to go to a roller coaster right after, oh, yeah, no. I don't think you'll be able to. We wouldn't suggest doing that. <laughs> yeah, so just keep that in mind as well. Maybe if you're like trying to do the, the, the smaller rides like mm -hmm. up on the studio tour, that would be a good idea because you'll probably go in a food coma after all that. Yeah. You kind of feel like you're in a food coma after all that food. I don't think you want to eat a lot of food and then go on the flight of the hippogriff. Yes. Or the Forbidden Journey inside the castle. I don't think you want to do those rides yeah. right after because yeah. those are some fun, intense rides. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, if you do, let us know how it goes. Yeah, good luck to you. Let us know yeah. how it goes. So one tip we do want to give you guys is, yeah, we got here right at 9 a.m. Uh, just a heads up, sometimes they open the gate to the park like 15, 20 minutes early. Earlier. Yeah, so if you guys want to do come and maximize, get here early. But we headed straight over to Hogsmeade. We went straight into the three broomsticks and there was a line, there was a little bit of people, but they were really quick. Everything was really fast, you yeah, know? We got our food in like three minutes. Yeah, like literally three minutes and then yeah. we're done in 30 minutes and then, you know, you're done with breakfast. Yeah. So what we would suggest doing, you know, if we wanted to be here all day, if you guys are visiting the park, come have breakfast at Hogsmeade. After that, you know, uh, maybe enjoy the studio tour. Maybe yeah. get on Kung Fu Panda, see your life of pets, let the food settle, uh, you, you know, enjoy it. You could do some walking, yeah. some shopping. Some shopping too, there yeah. you go. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's early enough to where the park isn't crowded yet and the lines aren't too long for everything. Yeah, you know? honestly, I thought we were gonna get here and that there was gonna be a long line for breakfast, but mm -hmm. I think also just a lot of people don't know about it, Yeah. which is another reason why we wanted to make this video for you guys. Because it's new, yeah. But yeah, guys, there's so many good food options here. Let us know in the comments.
Vincent, what's your favorite food to eat here at Universal? Or theme parks in general? Yeah, I can already think of a few. You can't go wrong with a turkey leg yeah, or a churro. Yeah, churro. But Butter think, beer, I know people yeah, love But think beer. hard about it. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, what's your favorite theme park food here at Universal Studios? Yeah, we'd love to know because I'm kind of i curious too. I'm like, what do people mostly come and eat here, you yep. know? We're, we're here all the time, so we kind of can switch it up. But yeah. I wonder for like someone that's coming out of town, like what do they decide to What do they look know? forward to? Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys do like this video, let us know if you guys do want to see more uh, food here at Universal Studios. Yeah, that because would be great. They, after Taste of Universal, they switch up a lot of menus. There's a lot of good food options here. Yeah. Alright you guys, so we almost forgot to mention but I just went in there and asked. Their breakfast hours are from 9 to 11 and then after 11 it turns into the lunch menu. So just keep that in mind you guys. So Hogsmeade is pretty cool. There's a lot to do here. Uh, we're eventually going to show you everything. Yeah. Right. Actually, before everything shut down, mm -hmm. the next few videos that we were gonna do were actually at Hogsmeade. That yeah, that's what we had. Yeah, that's what we had planned to do. Yeah, that's where we had like left off. We did use our wands, but we want to show you what's inside the stores. Mm -hmm. Once Ollivander's eventually opens up, we want to show you that show and yeah. all the rides as well. So stay yeah. tuned for those. Okay. And we also want to get you on. And we so got. We'll yep. bring you guys along for that too. Yes. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank that's you guys right. so much for having breakfast with us. I'm so full. Me too. <laughs> that I'm was still so, so full. I'm actually so excited good. to go walk around. Yeah. Like, Burn it out. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy the rest of the park, but that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys are new, give this video a like, leave us a comment. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, yes. Twitter, all that good stuff. The links are always down below. Also, let me just emphasize, you guys, please do follow us on Instagram. There are days where we don't vlog at the park, but we have Instagram days where we literally just um, Instagram our whole day. Yeah, it's kind of like a behind the scenes too, and we love yeah. interacting with you guys. It's just a different perspective. It is. Yeah. yeah. So we hope to see you guys there. Uh, stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.